We've been working with big brothers, big sisters for at least 20 years. And I'll tell you, year after year, it takes a little bit of thought to try to come up with something new and something different for each dream cottage. So what I try to do is I try to come up with a plan that's going to be affordable for big brothers, big sisters, something that's going to be affordable for your ticket buyers. We can't have tickets that are out of reach for a lot of people. I also have to figure out a plan that's going to also be exciting enough that you're going to sell tickets and one that's going to be easily movable. It's the one that we can bring in, take apart and deliver again the second time. So there's a lot of challenges. So we got to get the price right, we got to get the ticket price right, we got to get the design right and we have to be able to think about the logistics of moving it again. So there's a lot that goes into it. It's probably a, a combination of past homes we've done. Um, it's a little bit of searching online too ideas that might be similar and then we'll kind of mash them all together into one design. Because we're a manufactured home and our homes are all built indoors and then transported to site, we have to kind of keep in mind that we have to be able to take the home apart or design it to be transported. We can really do just about anything to be honest with you but some homes have to have a little bit of tweaking this way or that way in order to make those that criteria fit, be able to get it apart, put it back together and ship it. But yeah, we can build just about anything as long as we can get it apart and put it back together. Uh, sky's the limit as far as options and features in the home, your design choices, that, that's all pretty well. Sky's the limit. Kind of a multi-step process. So what happens, the first step that we like to do is come up with the design. And then what we'll do is we'll do some budget numbers on that design to make sure that that's going to, we think it's going to fit the price point where, where we need to be. And then from there, once we have the design nailed down, then we can start talking about the fun stuff inside, the, the, you know, your countertops, your flooring colors, your cabinet choices, that sort of thing. Once we have a bit of an idea of what we want for design, then we can sit down and we can talk about cabinet colors and cabinet styles. And that's something that we would sit in our sample room and, and I would maybe give them some examples that would be in the price range that we're talking about. And from there, we, we pull it all together. It's kind of a learning curve for some people, this style of building. Most people are more kind of conditioned to the normal site build where you, you know, you hire a contractor and they go out and they nail, start nailing their, your home together on site. This one is a little bit different in that you have to do a lot of pre-planning and pre-thinking. So this is a little bit different. I think that's what people find kind of interesting and intriguing is, is that their house is actually built indoors and then delivered to their, to their site and assembled. Just the whole construction process is, is a little bit different in here too. I think what's a little bit interesting about this style of building too is where people will, you know, they'll come in here, they'll order their home, they'll pick all the colors and features and then they go to the beach and then, you know, typically eight weeks or two months or three months later their house arrives, which is not normally the way it would be built. Normally people would, uh, you know, watch, you know, the floor go on and then they'd watch the wall stand and then they'd watch, you know, just little pieces all, all along. So this is a little bit different. Pretty interesting way of building for sure.